So you need to start being more, more excited about what we do. Um, now at ISIS, I'm ready to go. Oh yeah, man, I'm gonna build this. Look at what happened the first year. I did one appointment in October 1997, and then I came back to the appointment in December. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> and then January did three appointments. I worked so hard, I just did two, then I did three, then I did two, and five in May, man, I was so excited. <laughs> then I did three, yeah, because I worked so hard through the year, in July I took off, right? I mean, why do you want to work so hard, right? How can I go back to that slide? Okay. But look at that. In a year and a few months, I did 29 appointments. You guys are laughing because that's you. <laughs> right? I can prove it to you, I can see your activity, that's you, I was there. I was an expert distributor. <laughs> you know what's an expert distributor? It's a, a distributor that never gets promoted to division. That was me, okay? Then one day, in January 1999, I went through what Brent is doing right now, through. my mom passed away, I was 30 years old, my mom passed away, and I uh, went through the funeral, January 3rd, and then on the 27th, there was an event like this in California. And if you notice the beginning of my slide, said walk, tag, and ask as an RVP. We were in a big meeting like this, eight hours. I mean, it was bigger than this, it was a thousand people. Eight hours of pure training. A guy with no English, everything in English, and no financial background, everything that we're talking about finance. Anybody remember what is ELISA 403B? That's a law that the government passed that every company needs to needs to help their, their employees to get educated financially. Well, now I know that. At that time, they were talking about Lisa 43B, we're gonna be huge power. I didn't know what it was, was it Lisa. The only Teresa that I knew was my sister, Maria Teresa, <laughs> and I knew Teresa, no, 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 don't break it yet, but, but I, I didn't know what was that. But I understood one thing, Hector Lamar showed where he came from, like, uh, uh, Ian is so, right? I mean, he, he showed, from the beginning where he was, and then he's showing where he's at, and he's gonna show some pictures of the farm or something at the end, I don't know. But, uh, but what, what, one of the things I saw where he was living, the life that he was having, I'm thinking, I want that life. And he said, you wanna have what I have, you need to walk, talk, and act as an original vice president. And I was a Christian leader. And I said, I'm just gonna walk and talk and act as an original vice president. My way back, I, I started talking to Brenda, I started talking to Michelle, what do you have, what, what do I need to do to make it happen? They tell me what I have to do. And I found the fly. Make that decision. You need to understand, you can come to a thousand of these trainings and meetings and your heart is going to be pumping and excited, but at the end of the day, you're going to leave that thing, and like he said, life is going to hit you. And you're going to forget about what would happen here. You need to make a decision. Look at what happened. I made the decision. My first 90 days, this is what I did. Susan was working full time. Okay? I did 20,000 in premium, 18 recruits. How did that happen? I don't remember. But I know I want my butt off. I sleep in my car, I sleep in couches, because I was going to Logan. At that time, I didn't have any money. I don't have time to tell you what was my budget at that time. But my lunch day, I'm only going to tell you that I only have one dollar and six cents for food. Okay? Only a dollar and six cents for food, because I got two kids at home, I got a lot of bills to pay, and it was yes, a chicken wing in the Smiths, a lot of potato in the Smiths, a ramen soup, because they had microwaves there at that time. And I think that is still, and a soda, generic one, 25 cent coin that they used to be in the half, and six cents for the government, okay? So that was my lunch, and then I was hoping that somebody would feed me for dinner, but I want my butt off to make this thing happen. And then I told Susan, she was working full time, I said, if you can join me in this business, and if you can do what you're doing for your boss, you're doing for a family, we're gonna be rich. That's how I recruited her. She said, let's do it. We were both of us full time with that much debt and two kids already, right? Partnership is crucial. Igor, is your wife licensed? Yep. Steve, right. is your wife licensed? By the way, Teresa, she became an RVP before she got married. <laughs> Teresa became an RVP, Igor became an RVP, uh, Steve became an RVP, and then they got married after that, right? I mean, if you notice that every, <laughs> every, every partner here the partnership, they got licensed. So whatever you got to do, you need to recruit your spouse, right? And then look at what happened. In 1999, after after every recruit, my wife, she started taking notes and, and setting up appointments, <coughs> making the appointments. In July 1999, a year later, I did 29 appointments just in one month. 
What I did a full year and a half, I did one month. You have to condense time, right? And um, yes, really quick because I don't have any time. Look at what happened my first, my, in 1999. I made a change. In the whole year, I did 98,000 in videos, 72 videos. I know that this is not a, as big a number as some people, but that's huge numbers for a guy who comes from another country with no college degree, you know nothing about finance. I was talking to very many people, okay? 100,000 in videos, it's really good, right? So, Then I learned about one thing, okay, I'm going to finish with this. Then I learned one thing, you have to learn how to talk really. We've been talking over here about recruiting and going massive like he, uh, Ian was talking about, right? He recruited, you know, he shows all the personal recruits. I know that he didn't go one by one person. He was free training people, right? He was free training the whole time, right? And then that's what I was doing. You see, I recruit this guy, Alvaro, Alvaro took me to see Orlando, Lando, Monica, Andrea, and Grace are there. Uh, and then Marta, and look, look at this. And I went to all these appointments, visiting people, going all the way down. But it's interesting, and uh, I don't know how to do this with the laser here, you can see. But anyway, Andrea and Marta over there, okay, they bought RVPs now. Look at what is Igor. How deep is Igor in the tree? How deep I have to go in those woods, right? But was it worth it? Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Freaking worth it. Most people go, I mean, Guess what? Alvaro Orlando quit it, and a bunch of those people quit it. Who cares? Right? Why do you take personally when people quit? Is there a problem? Right? By the way, they're going to come back. They're going to come back like they did, right? And um, then this is my, my story 1999, 13,710, 2008, 365. How come a guy from another country, country, this country, no language, nothing like that, can't do this? Anybody can. You just have to call yourself. This is my father. We only have one life to live and one God to serve. And time is short. Right? right. You have to come this time, you have to worry about how to make things happen. This family is having an incredible life. This is where we live right now, 11 years ago, we moved to this place. We got this beautiful uh, uh, swimming pool in the back with the electricity. I bought that house as a foreclosure. I didn't know what was a foreclosure at that time. But I bought it for three feet, 7,000 square foot each home with a half an acre lot with swimming pool, the electricity, and things like that. My mortgage right now is 1,000 bucks. That's awesome, right? So we live in a place like that. I have a basketball court right there. Uh, let me see the next picture right here. Basketball court behind that line right now. Five years ago, they built high school. I, I mean, elementary school. All my kids they go there. Uh, around uh, ten years ago, after I moved there, I was there for a year. I was thinking, man, I should buy a the line behind me. I can build my soccer field. So I was excited about that because I play soccer, right? So my neighbor is the owner. I was trying to deal with him, and then finally, uh, six years ago, I found out that he sold it to a school. I was like, darn, I missed the opportunity. But guess what? They built behind my house. Who is the coach for the team right now? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have, we have the coach, that's it. And then all the tweets that we've been able to do, but anyway, so I just want to wrap it up with this, okay? We don't have much time, the speakers here to talk to you. We're just trying to give you just a flavor of what's going on. What you have to do after this meeting, you have to talk to you, to your outlines, to you, to whoever is training you, and ask them, like I did to Brenda and, and Michelle on my way back, 12 hours, okay, driving the car. What do I need to do? What do I need to do? And they tell me. They tell me everything I have to do. Never miss any meetings. Always be first, first to be in the meeting, last one to leave. Be a leader, talk to people, bring guests, and recruit people. I learned those things in that trip, during those 12 hours, and that's what I did. And today we are who we are. Thank goodness that we so or ear to people who are swinging and not to people who are listening. So thank you, it was actually later.